Now I'm in Melbourne, Australia today, and I want to take a moment to talk about scarcity and demand and sales. Now to highlight the point, I want to share uh, an experience I had here with a cafe in Melbourne that apparently sells the best croissants in all of Australia. Now I've never had one of these croissants because every time I've gone there, there's been a queue around the block. Now in fact, I was there at 5 a.m. this morning and there was a queue around the block. So I have no idea what they taste like, but apparently they're really, really good. Now, in sales, we don't always have this situation of scarcity. So how is it that we can get a customer to transact within our time frame if we don't have scarcity? If, for example, if you're selling software, software never runs out. So why would the customer transact within your time frame? Well, one of the things we typically do as salespeople is we have offers that we make available for a period of time, until the end of the month or until the end of the quarter. Now, if you stick to those time frames and you don't extend those offers, that, that may well work. Another thing you can do is, is to be clear around the time frame and uh, give your customer plenty of warning and, and document the steps and make sure you're, you're both working in the same direction. But ultimately, it's the customer's choice where they transact. Now, I think this is the one point where the relationship with the customer becomes extremely important. If you want the customer to transact within your time frame, they have to care. And if they don't care, really, why would they? So it's the one point where you want to share the time frame and also share what the impact of that time frame not being met has on you personally. Now, if you build up a relationship with your customer, a relationship that is full of trust over a period of time, your customer may well do everything they can to help you out. It is that one point where the relationship becomes extremely important. Let me know your thoughts. If you think this video is useful to others, share it with them. Uh, put your comments in the section below. Thanks.